Carnby is alone in the dark here in the world of darkness. There it is, world of darkness. We're at this broken bridge we were talking, just talking to by the god of gods, giving us a pep talk. Aline? Boy, am I happy to hear your voice. Aline, I, I had a strange dream. It's the first time I ever remembered one of my dreams. That means you're on the right track. Where are you? On a rocky outcrop, above an abyss. You were lucky. Whatever happens, we've got to get Alan's statue back before sunrise. Eden Shaw told me that the waters of the springs had powers of healing. That's good news. So Carnby's got to find that Alan. They done? No, they're not done. Uh, they're just going to keep coming back. Oh, should I look at that? It doesn't seem like I can look at that. Why did we get, like, a FMV cutscene for that? What a weird hallway. Just like two dogs that keep respawning in it. Oh, we got plant monsters. Looks like we're just... I mean, I guess there's like a bit I could look at over here. Maybe there might be an item. No. Oh, no, there is. Maybe, I don't know if they just keep respawning. Let's see if there's anything over here. Uh, 
Thanks. I mentioned when I did Aline's last level, I felt like the game kind of fell apart in the end. I feel like that's going to, it's, it's, it's wrapping up much the same way for Carnby as well. I have a, I have a feeling we're not in, in store for anything better. By the way, does Carnby have any new notes? After my fall, I heard a voice out of Hecaton Kears, that the god of light. He told me that I am his warrior and that this is just the beginning. I, I don't feel ready. Alina's is still on the case. We must find the statue that Alan took with him before sunrise. I better I better save by batteries. I just needed that. I do have the lightning gun. I haven't actually used it yet. I use it as a lean, but not as Carnby. I, I believe the lightning gun was pretty overpowered, so that's good. And now you die. Alan, no, don't! <laughs> I, oh, okay. Well, I guess we're okay. I didn't press anything, if you're wondering. Alan just tried to kill me. Nor the last. I'm starting to believe in my guardian angel. Don't you think it's more like the gods of light? No doubt. No doubt at all. Was there supposed to be like a little scene where Carnby was falling? I'm nearly at the end. I no longer have the strength or energy to fight off their attacks. It's a miracle that I got this far. Where's Deserto? What is he doing? He can't be afraid. Not now. Not on the final day of reckoning. But I'm a Morton after all. And a Morton always faces his destiny alone. Oh, Richard. Oh, Father. I hope I have not let you down. Of course, during the night, in my restless dreams, I see that town, and saw once again the fear gleaming in their eyes as we abandoned them to the creatures of the night. But we did it for the good of humanity, did we not, Father? 
I am a Morton. Already, Jeremy, my dear son, is discovering his destiny, even if he has reservations and hesitations. I, Archibald Morton, I was the first to cross the threshold. I alone have crossed into the world of darkness. I will die here, I am sure, but my glory will live on, like the glory of our name. Not far from here I found an engraved stell. Here is the transcription. Our combat has only one possible outcome. The return of our mighty gods. Never believe, noble guardian, that you can vanquish the creatures of the night alone. Descent into the heart of their world, down to the mold of their creation, serves no purpose. It will only bring you a vain and inglorious death. The creatures ooze from their mold like blood from a wound, like water from its source. Their original form is a sticky black liquid, foul and reeking of soot and sulfur, impregnating every damp cavity that borders the lake of oblivion. There, little by little, this cursed seed metamorphosed into a hideous creature of the night. No man knows the force that reigns over the germination of these monstrosities. Only the gods of light know how to destroy them. This is why, O oh guardian, your combat is infinite. O oh, creatures of the night, come on me. I am ready for your deadly embrace. I am ready to join you, to love you. Come to me. Come. It's getting real hot and heavy down here in the world of darkness. With a broken leg, he can't have held up for long. I picked up an object and the pulsar. Okay, so here's Archibald. Here's his corpse. I guess it was uh, good we went this way, but there's no exit over here. Let's see. The one we just picked up is... Yeah, Photoelectric Pulsar. Is we're just going back the way we came? Oh yeah, there's a rope right here. I do want to climb down the rope. Let me just let me use the lightning gun. I feel I feel like I remember that one being kind of overpowered. Yeah, that's the one. <clears throat> Let's see. Which way do we want to go? I guess that way. Well, I can see if there's anything down here first. No. Well, Archibald sounded like he was having a good time, but you know what those banner ads always say. You won't last 30 seconds in the world of darkness. Don't know how lost I don't know how long Archibald lasted. Alan, no, wait. Oh, damn. I mean, just like Ada doesn't wait, Alan will never wait. I mean, I don't really know why we're telling Alan to wait. We're gonna kill him. Like, he actually, he does have a good reason to not wait. No, 
know, we're just going one way. Maybe instead of saying wait, maybe we should just shoot him. Whoop. No, not that. That. Like, I don't think there's really a conversation to be had with Alan at this point. Is this a thing? Uh, it's not saying anything when we look at that. Congratulate you for your courage, but I'm running late. And it's also way too late for you, like for the others. Nothing can stop me now. Look. Look what you did to your brother. Oh, Ben? But... Oh, is there no... There's no conversation between Carnby and Aline there? There was in the Aline's game, wasn't there? Aline got the last statue, but we got separated again. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure they had a conversation... When I played this as a lean, it didn't, it didn't just cut to gameplay immediately. Oh. Up the rope we go. No. So we climbed up from there. I guess we could go into either door. There's some water. We can go get that. I fill my flask. Anything at the end of this? Tell me what happened to Fisk, and I mean now. I don't know for sure. I believe Lamb terminated him. But what for? Carnby, there's something you must know. I work, or actually I used to work, for the government. I was ordered to infiltrate Christopher Lamb's organization. But my boss was taken off the case. 
Someone double-crossed us, and my cover was blown. Bullshit. Just tell me about Fisk. I believe Lamb got rid of your friend because he knew too much about Shadow Island and the Mortons. You probably know that at one time Fisk was part of Bureau 713. And you? You just let the bastard do it? I didn't know what was going on, but even if I had, I couldn't have done a thing. Do you have the tablets? Are you joking or are you just stupid? Don't tell me you didn't know Lamb has already retrieved the translation. Hmm? This is worse than I thought. Just do your job and let me do mine. Over. Edward Carnby's had enough of all the secrets and the corruption. I can't believe this Johnson was part of the government. This corruption going to the very top. There we go. It's remarkable how in both Carnby and Aline's uh, playthroughs, how <laughs> how much this game ends with such a wet thud. See if there's anything over around the corner. Doesn't seem like it. Another, uh, we're getting out of the lava room, and we're in a big bridge. Johnson. What do you want now? I have to warn you that Lamb knows at least one more spot where... another contact point. Oh, great. He knows where the gates are and how to open them. But what's he after? I don't know, really. My mission was to find that out. I believe he wants to use the Morton's work for his own benefit. Come on, cut the crap. If you knew all that, why didn't you call me sooner? I thought my cover was solid, but... Lamb had me under surveillance, and when I tried to contact my boss... Stop it, you're breaking my heart. Listen, Carnby, I know I owe you one. Both you and Aline. I got in touch with a reliable friend of mine who runs a helicopter company. We'll fly in and pick you up in an hour or two. Can you hold on until then? Oh yeah. Over. Oh no, his cover was blown, just like the pilot said. I wonder how the pilot knew that.
I guess this is not a real ladder. It's just, it is funny how much of the plot revolves around two characters who we barely ever see in the game. We see, like, we see a little bit of them right at the beginning and the end. But so much of the, of the details of the story are about Lamb and Johnson. Let's see if there's anything around here. Like, the, uh, the motivations of Carnby and Aline don't actually mean anything. Carnby's here to investigate the death of his friend, and his, the death of his friend was not even here, as far as we know. His friend's death has nothing to do with Shadow Island. And Aline's quest to find out, find her dad, well, she doesn't find out who her dad is, but she's pretty sure Obed is not her dad. So she doesn't accomplish that either. So... Neither of our main characters' motivations actually mean anything, uh, as far as the game goes. And that's a lot of dogs. Whoop. I'm, I'm actually out. Need to get more crystals. Carnby, where are you? I'm in a very large room with gigantic, ornate columns. Then you're almost there. Hurry up. Almost there. Oh, here's a here's a crystal. But where am I going? Oh, it's that. Wait, that happened to Aline as well. Am I fighting something on that? I probably should use this. Don't tell me Carnby's last boss fight also happens on this column. Okay, no, he walked across the column and nothing happened. I already filled my flask, but I guess we can top it up. Oh, well, here's the altar. With, uh, some statues on it. With one statue. Oh, we don't- okay, no, we, uh, we don't have a head. Aline gets the head from Hecaton Kyers, right? By solving his puzzles. But we do not have a statue of a- we do not have a statue. We, I mean, we have- we have that. But that's one of the animal statues, right? It's not like the... It's not the head. So where does Carnby get a head? Can't walk in there.
All right, let's climb down this rope. Can't decipher those. Wow, that's it? That's a, that's clearly Alan as a monster. He doesn't have, like, an introduction or anything? Alright, Alan, let's do this. I'm glad that Carnby got a holy shit in himself. Alright, so I guess the question that we have is... Is there something in particular I need to do, or do I just shoot him? We remember how the Obed fight went. You had to hit him during a certain animation. I'm still not really sure how that worked. Is there anything in particular we need to do with Alan? I can't run in those caves. Doesn't seem like there's anything in the room we can interact with. He's very slow to attack. Can't decipher him. Whoop. Big throw. That is a very big throw. He's very he's very proud of himself that he did that. That missed him. That, that missed him. Of course it did. All right, that did not make him flinch. That just hit something in front of me. And if I get close enough to him, he just does this. Well, no, I don't... that does not make him flinch. Then again, he moves kind of too fast to actually get it, to charge up this gun. Oh no, that's like the flamethrower, and that, that doesn't make him stop either. Right, is there something in the room? Odd. Like he was in we we switched positions when we went to the next screen. Uh, no point in doing that. He's gonna walk right through it. Oh. Alright, well there's a spear there, but if I walk in there, he just throws me. Is there a way of stopping him from doing that? How is it possible that it hit something directly in front of me?
All right, so what do we know? We can see that there's like a spear in one corner of the room, but if I walk in there, he automatically intercepts me and throws me. So is there a way to stun him so he can't... so it's a good time to go get it? I went right through him. That's my last health drink. Alright, so if he's doing his little animation, I guess he, uh... You can't... I guess... Our rockets just go right through him. I guess. He's not flinching at all from when I shoot him. He does glow a little bit. Oh, hold on, hold on. He's down on his knees. Alright, so I guess he was actually taking damage all that time. Alright, uh, um, where is it? It's, uh, it's up there. It's up, wait, is it up there? Which, which direction was it? That's uh, up there. Alright, I guess if I do hit him a few times... No, I was too late. So, uh, regardless of where he is in the room... ...he has to be on his knees. If he is standing... ...then he will teleport over to stop you. Important information to know. So when we knock him down, we do have to be close to the spear. What? Is Carnby going Super Saiyan? All right, that's enough of that god power. Only needed the power of the divine for that one thing. That's fine. That's enough. Okay. Uh, well... I mean, I, I know it's kind of a, a cliche, but this does feel like an appropriate time to say, to look at the, to look at the screen with a smirk on your face and say, well, that happened. Yes, that indeed happened. Did we write anything down in our notebook about that? It is Lamb who was responsible for Fisk's death. Just for that, I must get out of here. Johnson tried to cross Lamb and us, but he lost. Lamb is one. He knows the ritual to open the gates and the location of at least another similar door. Johnson is sending a helicopter to pick us up. Nothing in there about uh, becoming the god being, huh? Becoming infused with god's light. And using that power to pick up a spear that as of, uh... I, oh, as of 
like never, we never heard of it before. Just for some reason, we knew we needed to grab it. I got the head. We knew we needed it. We grabbed it. And we used it to kill Super Allen. Why was Allen Super Allen? Hey, that's not important. Don't worry about that. I feel like this is worse than Aline's last level. Like, Aline had... Aline at least Aline had, like, the puzzles where we were finding the tablets and, like, the, the graven images of the gods. And we had to do that thing in the room where we were, like, looking at them. And then, you know, we, we did some things. I feel like we didn't really do anything in Carnby here in the last level. This was, like, more of a non-event than uh, Aline's version. I have the statue. Aline, over here. Everything's about to collapse. Run for it. She could do that, or she could walk casually over here. Yes, Aline? Yeah? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I saw a helicopter on the west shore. You haven't a second to waste. Hurry, because the sun will be rising soon. But, and you? I can now fulfill my destiny, thanks to you. I am most grateful. Now go. Right. I, I expect this is going to be the same thing, of course. He's going to cast his spell as the sun rises. It does look like the sun has already risen, you know. It said we had to do this before morning. It's morning, I'm going to say. And uh, Aline slaps Johnson for lying to her. Of course, Aline has gotten her jacket back from who knows where. Uh. Johnson gives a wry smile. Edenshaw does his ritual with the seven statues and seals the world of darkness. Goodbye, house. Uh, you know, maybe I wish I felt any sort of emotion at seeing you get destroyed at the end of the game. Right, then the kingpin gets the things he wanted, which is like a setup for a sequel? Shadow Island was situated precisely on the crest of a minor fault line. This fault line. Obviously, this developer did not make a sequel, though there would be a sequel made in seven years later. Send Fishburne his nice little reward. And that's, that's the credits. Man, I don't know. I I like the beginning and middle of the game. Like, it's... It, it, the combat doesn't feel that good. Like, compared to... Well, you know, prior to Resident Evil's 2 and 3 remake coming out, I did replay the original PlayStation versions of those games, and I was surprised at how well the combat in those games held up, playing them all these years later. And in, in comparison, the combat in this game does not feel good. Um, but still, there were there were elements of the games I liked. I liked the environments. Uh, I liked the pre-rendered backgrounds. I enjoyed the whole thing they were doing with the flashlight effect, how they had like a dark and a light background overlaid on each other, and like it looked like you were illuminating the background in real time. That was neat. That was a cool thing. Uh, I enjoyed the, the banter, the back and forth that Carnby and Aline had. I think the fact that they had the, uh, the radio that you could use at any time and maybe get a conversation where they would, like, give zingers to each other. I thought that was neat. Gives our, gives our characters some personality and get some bonus conversations with them. Uh, I enjoyed our, I enjoyed our protagonists. I enjoyed the conversations with the old lady who just yelled at us to go to hell. She's dying. I liked her. I assume she was dead already when Eden Shaw blew up the house. I'm going to assume that. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I mean, uh, I enjoyed the house. The house was a good environment. 
uh, the middle of Aline's game was what the fort, and the middle of um, Carnby's game was the lab. They were all right. But then you get to that last level, and man, man, things go downhill real fast. Like, it was even worse in Carnby's, which I'm surprised because I would have thought Carnby would have been, like, considered the main character and get a bit more time and care with his campaign. But no, his last level is much worse than Aline's. Aline had more going on. Like, the last boss for both of them are bad, but Aline's version of the fa final level was a better version. Um... I mean, Alan didn't even have, like, cutscenes for his last boss fight. He just appears, and he's a monster, then he dies, and he doesn't say... I don't know, he doesn't say anything, and then... Carnby grabs a spear that he never saw before and turns Super Saiyan. And I guess the whole foreshadowing for that was Hecaton Kyers saying that Carnby is his chosen warrior, so that's where that's supposed to come from, but... Eh... Uh. Then he gets that he gets the statue head and puts it on the altar. I mean, if this game ended at the halfway mark, I would have a much higher opinion of this game, <laughs> but it doesn't. It you do have to go through that last level to complete the game and go through the last level twice to see everything. And that's the thing that's really sticking with me. Early part of the game, much better than the later part of the game. It's by a tremendous amount. I mean, I guess this is just one of those deals where Edward Carnby will return. Not in not in Darkworks' games, but yeah, he will return. Um, one in the dark. Yeah, it's... A lot of survival horror games have the problem where the end of the game goes downhill, but it's you really feel it in this one. It's it's man, man. Uh, there's just such a difference in quality. Eh, well, in any anyway, that's Alone in the Dark, the New Nightmare. That's two playthroughs, one for each campaign. We first play through as Aline who needed to know who is her dad? Who dad? Is Obed dad? Maybe he dad, but then she find out he not dad. And and the, that's that's kind of it for her. And then there's Carnby whose plot line is who kill friend? Did Obed kill friend? I go to Island to find out if he kill friend, and then it turns out no, Ob Fisk was not on the island. The person who killed uh, Fisk has, is not even on the island. And then Carnby and Aline are like, Carnby and Aline are then big mads because they were lied to to get him on the island, because I guess they were the chosen peoples of destiny who were the ones chosen by prophecy and Hecaton Kyers to stop Alan and supply Edenshaw with his seven statues so Edenshaw could close the world of darkness. And Carnby and Aline are mad at being used by Johnson and Fisk. And Aline gives Johnson a big old slap, gives him one of those across the face, and Carnby's like, ha ha, you deserve that. Um... Like I said, it's weird how how much of the actual story of this game has to do with people who are barely in the game and are not even in the setting. Um, and also, a lot of the story seems to be doing work to set up a sequel. Like, it's, it's a real unsatisfying ending because the, the ending is, oh no, here's Fisk. He's... He's the, he's the actually no, actually Fisk is the guy no Fisk is Carnby's friend. Fisk is Carnby's friend. Lamb. Yeah, the guy the guy's name is Lamb. The ending of the game like shows you Lamb and says, "Oh, here's the real villain. He's skulking. Look at him skulk in these shadows. You see him skulking." And uh <clears throat> And I guess that just didn't kind of go anywhere. I mean, I know there's Alone in the Dark 2008, but I'm going to assume those are just different characters.
Just some weird decisions there. Weird decisions. So, like I said, I enjoyed the house. I enjoyed the middle part of the game. I thought, I like I liked our main characters. I thought Carnby and Aline were neat and had neat banter. Um, but I thought the combat was not so good, and the game takes a massive uh, plummet in the last level of the game. Leaving you wondering at the end, what was that? What what even hap what what even is that? And what is this squid? We keep seeing this squid in this FMV opening. There was no squid in the game. I mean, we never saw a cutscene featuring a squid, but we see it here in this opening FMV. We see it here. Also, there's like a cutscene where a giant spider is crawling down the hallway after Carnby. Did I don't think that happened. I don't think that happened. Well, that's Alone in the Dark. The New Nightmare. This was the Dreamcast version. You know, if if you like survival horror games from this era, uh, this is an okay one. It would be more than just okay if it didn't uh, just land so badly at the end. Aside from the ending, it was alright. And, uh... This was their first attempt to modernize Alone in the Dark. But not their last attempt, of course. But, uh... That's it for right, that's it for right now for Alone in the Dark. The new nightmare.